In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave survivors band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the Boondicast. The place that knows when to go fast, but where to go fast. It is I, Frank, Sick, the Blockbuster Guy. Along with me today, our special guest. And, actually another special guest, which will be coming soon. But, I'm also joined along with my two co-hosts, Natasha. Hi! And Tom. Hi. Joining us today is a special friend who likes to go fast. It moves... That basically followed us, who set us free, and trusted us so we could escape from the city. We saw it is, like the Hedgehog in the movie, guys. Ho- hold on, hold on. Bot 221, a.k.a. Chris. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a speeding ticket. Yes, he went fast because he didn't want to avoid <laughs> missing the beautiful trailers. Is it the second one? So, basically, we decided to go see Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie. Now, now the, Day. Yes, on We're Valentine's Day. Day. Yes, surprisingly... It's the not theater a surprise. Empty, Natasha is the most romantic movie How, of 2019. Why are you blind about that? Look, even the clerks are telling me, yeah, it's going to be the most romantic what movie. What you be only coming here? But no, I felt bad. The lady was so bored. Like, there were so many Sonic the Hedgehogs. They were kind of empty. But surprisingly, there was even a Joker oh, movie. Mind, I mean, mind which you. is plot twist. It's, it's way past its expiration date. It has its DVD and digital out right now. And Blu-ray. But yet it's still in there, which is like, I don't understand. No one's at the theater. Why well, have so many? Well, I don't know. I don't know, Frank. Maybe because it was a Friday. It's Valentine's Day. It's yes, early. Let, let, let's watch Joker on Valentine's Day. Yes, I will feel the imaginary love. That's what everyone wants. Yes. Why would everyone want to see Joker on Valentine's Day, Frank? I would. Right, would go see. <laughs> I would go see Birds of Prey on Valentine's Day. Where's the love in that movie? Excuse Birds. me? Harley Quinn? Harley Who Quinn? is the essential No, but where's the romance with her? She's w- assembling a uh, squad of it's teammates. A, it's a breakup film. Exactly. We're going to go off the Joker, back to Sonic. Right now, as we're doing this, Tosh and the others are playing a very Disney magical board game. Please sponsor us, Disney. <clears throat> please sponsor us, Disney. No. Disney, please sponsor me, not Nikki. You two, right there. I don't want to be sponsored by Disney. Throw the plugs. I will be sponsored by Disney. I don't care. Yep. But yes, not just that. So, we originally recorded some audio earlier today driving in the car mobile. Not the Vundacast mobile. The car mobile. It's just the car. The car. Essentially. <laughs> Pretty much, we lost like 30 minutes of, of audio footage, and basically the batteries died. Wasn't that fun? <sighs> I wasn't even there for it. Oh, you missed out on the fun. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to basically talk about our opinion before we watch the movie, talk about the main cast of Sonic, friend, wife, and Jim Carrey. I mean, Dr. Eggman. But no, okay, there's like basically... Was he actually called Eggman in the movie? No, they, they, call him, they call him Doctor Robot. Oh, okay, so okay, that's good. But the thing is, he like he's big with his eggs, hmm. which hence the egg man meme. I mean nickname. So basically, Natasha, okay. since you know, unfortunately you Natasha know. was not okay. able to see the movie, she will be the bravest of the braves, and she will encounter the spoilers, the almighty spoilers. It's not even that big of a deal to me, guys. Honestly, you should, you should in, have in seen general, her excitement. I, in general, I think with all the reviews that came out about it being like saying like. Like, cause like, just recently I just saw I just saw the review and I, they basically go on to like, oh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie has no plot. I was like, what? 
There, it, it has, has a, a plot. plot. It's not like it's like. It's just not the greatest. It's not like it's not like it's like an amazing it, it, it's, Oscar it, it's winning. It's partially it's, on fan fiction level of plot, but no, say, not. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, basically, Dumb. a hedgehog who basically is Sonic, not a fighter, defend the animals. He wants to okay, run away from his problems. Okay, but it's not problems. that version of Sonic. I, I know it's a new version of that's, Sonic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a new version it's, of Sonic. It doesn't make it fanfic. That's just telling a different but the thing version is the of plot, a story. Like the plot really seemed fanfictiony. Chris, back me up here. I well, I can't. I'm say. all for Jonah Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I'm like I'm trying to figure out what. what like way I said, I did like the movie, but like we'll we'll what? talk about it in a second. Like let's talk about it before opinions, and then we'll go to our afters. What? Dumb, you go first. Okay, I know. Before we go to. What makes this film fan fiction? I really want to know that right Sonic now. Sonic is completely out of character. Like, but he, he was he was. I understand. It's a new universe. He was still he was still a happy he was still a happy go lucky character. The only thing different about him was just the fact that he had like he was a little bit of like a, a insecurity about his loneliness. Aww. Well, like he's so fast. I mean, no one can keep up. I mean, that's like that's road. that's like saying oh that's like saying Frank Miller Batman is a fan but no, because no. it wasn't Batman. I'll, I'll give you this the most summest way. Of a fanfic story. You are a regular person. You're bored in a small town. You're the local sheriff who helps everyone. And all of a sudden, a little blue hedgehog comes in your garage. And he's like, meow. That is like, literal, that is hey, that shot. Is we're best of pals hey, now. Frank, that is how you tell a story. A fan That's fiction how- story, bro. It's a good fan <laughs> fiction. It's okay. <laughs> but look, so, wait your turn. So... You, you asked, like, listen, it, it really has oh that God. vibe. I, you know, I completely agree with my sister yeah. at this point. No one can ever enjoy a plot if it's something, if it doesn't have, like, if it's not, if it doesn't no, act like is, an actual video game. No. I agree with my sister now. Look, dumb. That, look I, at the same reason why people complained about the Mario movie. No, like, literally, no one was like Mario. Look, no, at, the, they, yes, look at the Double no Dragon one, yes. movie. No one was acting like the actual yes, character. Can, can but I, every video game what, except for Tomb Raider. Just because just, there are sometimes very rare cases where a plot or even characters do not, in any shape or form, reminisce about the thing that they're based off of, it's and not, they could still be good. It's not about reminiscing. They reminisce the fuck out of Sonic. They literally use the Sonic Mania slash Sonic Generation music in the very beginning of the movie. Because also those they're, are one of the few well, good yeah. games like, that came out in the recent years. Well, yeah, were but, great, I mean, like, but that's not just reminiscing. That doesn't just, hide that's the fact just, that most that, jokes were really that's bad. That's just Yeah, that's just that's like, basically what they're doing. That's giving what fans, that's giving what fans usually Be, like. They on, like yeah. to see their stuff, but also, but also showing that yes. We, we know this isn't the Sonic you're gonna see, but it still is Sonic the Hedgehog. It still is Sonic. To some degrees. Like, yes, but it's he not, may be fast, not, but it's he not may like, be this, but it's, it's, not like, the, it's not the Sonic we do. It's, I a, think, I it, mean, it, it's a Sonic that it's a Sonic we do know, but it's but also a Sonic that's introduced to different people. I thought the I thought the movie was actually not that bad. I actually thought it was actually pretty well, decently you good. If it also looks better. I mean, if, it, it could have been. Like, no, if it, it looked could, like the original movie, like the original design, though. I that's, would not even. No, watch it would have not been better. No, you know, I, I, I wouldn't have. That's, that's the biggest clutch a lot of people use for this movie. Like literally, it looks better. Which granted, I what? appreciate the hell out of that, but at the same time, it would have been the same movie with the original design. I uh, know, because I would not even watch the movie. Yeah. Which is seeing how creepy Sonic, the same Sonic time, was. I like I said, it's good they did it, but rest in peace that studio that did it. Which... Yeah, no, yeah, I feel bad for the studio that. that oh no, that. I do, but at the same time, that's their own fault for thinking that people were going to be fine with that. Honestly. They were being very lazy, and they had toys planned for well, it. It wasn't them; exactly. it was Paramount themselves, not the studio. But, but regardless, but... like, what, did they really think people were going to be fine with that? That's just sad. Honestly, but, but the thing is, that's where it's kind of buried. I, like, that, if people that, like that the plot is, now, the, it's, who's I to think, say what if people I like think, the plot I, I still? It's, okay, regardless so in, in of the theory, that's, that's literally left up in the air of why they did that. I mean, in most cases, it could have just been just some old white, just some old white dude. Like, yeah, no one's gonna care what Sonic no, looks like. That. But uh, but other than, then, I guess that's that's one theory to put it. Because no, like, yeah. I mean, Paramount, Paramount is an old company, but. Let's face. Let's face Which it. They've made plenty of great but movies. Son, but Sonic has existed. But Sonic has existed since the eighties, early nineties. Yes, early nineties. Yeah. There's plenty of source material to my, use. My thing is, so like whoever whoever's in charge, there's no way. There is no way you didn't know who was who, who my, Sonic. My had thing was with that. Like I gra- I granted, I will never understand why Frank wanted to see the original. But I like to watch shitty movies. But this, okay, this is my thing. 
You have plenty of source material from also from Sonic, but there have been plenty of very bad movies based off old cartoons like Yogi Bear, Woody Woodpecker. It, even though those movies did terrible, at least the they looked the, the designs as. looked like them. So even if this movie, let's say even this movie was Smurfs, bad, even the Smurfs, even the Smurfs. Like, I mean, the Smurf. One of the Smurf movies was good. I forgot which one it was. It was, was the first the f- one. The one with Smurf Fat being the main character. Second one. Second. Yeah, that was actually. That cool. was the one with the evil Smurf. That yeah. was the one with the evil yeah. Smurf. Because my thing, but my thing is. I didn't know whether or not the Sonic movie would be bad or not. I mean, I still have to see it, but from what I've been hearing, it's been actually been like, decent, which is good. But again, I would st- even if it was a bad movie, I would still at least want him to look like himself. Because yes, I mean, of all the years, because like I get you, like in, in the recent I mean, like, years, if Detective Pikachu, can, if Detective Pikachu can prove anything, you can still. You, you don't can, have to change yeah. anything. You don't have to change anything. Because the thing is, if you think about it, like what you said, this movie kind of feels reminiscent to the old Sonic games, I think. to At least to a certain degree. Well, the thing is, it, how do I say it? It does feel, but only just because when they intentionally do it. Yeah. The tone of the movie did not feel like a Sonic story. It just felt like, I'm trapped in your world. Uh-huh. Hide me. I'm dangerous. Please. Let's be best friends. Let's go to a bar. Let's dance. Let's party. Let's play <laughs> oh, like no, no, but, but, but I but I but I mean like what? It's, but, but I, it's, like, it's legit a road trip where like literally. Yeah, but I mean character out of nowhere. But Frank, but didn't it, but didn't it have the one thing it always had? Sonic always fighting egg. Sonic always fighting Robotnik. That's the most basic thing they can't really fuck up. That's and the thing. Friendship. <laughs> That's friendship. Actually, like, That's literally, the power of movie. They friendship. had Bowser and they were fighting him. I, mean, I swear. You, the most basic thing is you can't fuck up. How much movies. can you hammer down friendship, honestly? Yes. Uh, you, you, you could be it like a dead horse. Honestly. <laughs> like, honestly. Like, glue. Like, That's, I, I really wish they stopped hammering but, it. With that. But yeah, like I but said, yeah, but, no, yeah, but that's the thing. You can't just tell the same plot, but also give it good, We're not good saying plot and direction plot. and I'm reasons. just saying like a good new plot, a good new story. Which granted, for the kids, the younger generation, definitely this movie was good for a lot of kids. And I saw a lot of kids. This is a movie. family film. I, like, it, it, yeah, like a lot of kids were running around having fun, going fast, mm-hmm. and throwing stuff, which was funny. Like if I were to say it's like this movie, if if y'all were to set the new generation, it did that. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much. Right. Like. I could say, I could say like this is like literally like anyone who watches I could tell like yeah it's like this was Son- this is basically a Sonic's personality in a, ju- yeah. in a nutshell it's basically Sonic's personality not completely like I said it's a new like Sonic. yeah I get it no <laughs> it's made specifically to market the flip and easy cash cow movie that was the whole yeah, point of the movie that's it, why yeah, Paramount plot, did not the, try the, shit with the, the plot, design no, yeah, the plot in the plot in most ways was a very easy cash cow but you know what. Sometimes even even even, 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 the, even the easy yeah. most e- easiest plot driven stuff can still be good. Yeah, because sometimes the plot can be so simple, but if the characters like, are we like, talk, like, well like we we good. like look it we, we yeah. we're, we're at this point where where everyone is almost everyone is trying to be a cynical reviewer. It's not about being cynical. That's the thing. Just because if you don't like the new direction they're going with the movie doesn't make you cynical. Well, okay. Granted, you have high standards, but then again, this is a 90s character. True, but that's, that's I mean, been. I guess it's mostly in the sense because how people nowadays, when it comes to, you know, they're really in general. It's, it's yeah. true. It, people can be cynical, but it's not like we can't blame them entirely for that with how it's been handled. Which is why with this one, Frank understands this so far with me with the Sonic community. Because unfortunately, the lie. norm now is that Sonic. Has to be bad. It's bad, and I don't want that. With the anymore. shows, the games. Because the thing, like with Sonic Forces, I didn't bother buying Sonic Forces because they did the same they thing with Sonic. Awesome. They did the same thing with Sonic 06, where they made it seem like it's actually a very serious movie a, or game, but then they rush it for fans. They, they rush it, it out and it they just hammered out so much badness with some of the villains that they brought, like Chaos. You only see them in like one second, and that's and it. you know what? I and you know the thing is, too, I think it's because I think it's because like Sonic is being treated too. Sonic is being tre- treated too much as an anime and not as a cartoon. Which sucks, because he's not! Which, it could work on some occasions. Look it at the OVA. It could work on some occasions. The, the OVA was a great the, example the, of Sonic. Well, that's see, the that's thing. the thing, yeah. They're treating, like, they're treating, like, so- enough, they're treating like Sonic as, like, if Sonic is, like, a, a, Sonic is, like, a new episode of Dragon Ball, where he's not an anime character, he's basically a cartoon. Yeah. yeah. You know what I want to see? Like, huh. why I want to see if they are going to use this Sonic for the new generation, I wonder how the games will be. <laughs> That's the big thing. This can have a big influence on the games. Think yeah. about how Boom had that influence for like three games. Well, yeah, because Sonic and Boom was essentially a different. And, and that's it's, the, thing. the thing is, it's a whole other universe, like yeah. various of universes. It's just the thing is, here, like, can I give you like a brief idea how the movie starts? Yeah, with go one ahead. Second? Like I was trying to mention, earlier, like, as the people could tell, like I'm I'm mixed on this movie, but at the same time, I like the flip out of the movie. I know that sounds crazy. Mm-hmm. 
It's just I'm pretty critical since it's 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 on. Yeah. Gotta go fast. <sighs> no, but, <laughs> but like I said, when I saw the trailers, they gave away too much in the trailers at the end. Which I didn't like that. I mean, like they just literally the only thing they ever the only thing they ever showed was just Robotnik just turning into Robotnik. Like literally, <laughs> it, that. that's one of the things. Was like they literally. I was actually. Lazy so, I, I actually had a theme. Which they, some of them were good. Uh, surprisingly, I thought they were gonna do the whole thing. Like, like oh, he was losing. He's like going. He's going nuts and he's losing to Sonic. I thought the whole transformation was gonna happen during the film, but no, it, no, no. That yeah, that was what. I and that was surprising too, because like I think out of all the things, cause, like like everyone like everyone said like oh, Jim Carrey's gonna carry this film. I really didn't feel that. I really didn't I feel mean, like it depends. Him. Certain moments he definitely he was good. The best no, no. He had, I, I, yeah. I actually thought he was good. He actually played Robotnik, kind of, like right because Robotnik is a cruel character that is very that is very cruel to his wife. Yeah. He, he's very cruel. nowadays he's more hammy than anything. Well, the thing is, like this is going off a of modern kind of Robotnik of cartoon where it's like where he's very passive as hell. Like yeah. he he can be a dig, but he's very passive. Like literally, he knocks his seat. What do you mean? What do you mean by passive? He no. was like literally bullying the only is, one that actually like, liked like, him. Like dumb. Oh. Robotnik would usually kill his henchmen or turn them into robots or like basically. You're talking yell about at them. Com- you're talking about comic. Adventure Robotnik. one, he literally scrapped all the robots. That could yeah, not get a that, frog that and literally did a crazy experiment on them. That's a Tuesday for him. Only because, like, Tuesday. yeah, because only Gamma was the only one that brought the frog. Robotic back. Was so that everyone's like, you get scrapped. Like, wow. he literally uses animals in their life force yes, as I, yes, their I know. machines. He conquers the world. But that's, that's what, what he but wants think to do or try. True. But, but I mean, like, he was literally going this to. This one he, is just. He was. No, no, no. Okay, pause right here. He was literally going to kill the main character. <laughs> because he wants to get his goals. That's ba- that's like a no, big no, no, trait. He was, like, literally pointing a gun at him, literally in his face was like, hey, tell me where this thing is, or five seconds, I'm going to kill you. He doesn't even need the guns. He was using his AI robots, which that's what that, he I'm should not do. It doesn't matter. Just, there are parts that's hit, and there's parts that are missed with him. I do have a question, because yeah, my theory was, like, when me and Frank were talking about this, like, he was always asking what other characters could they probably put in other than Sonic or Eggman in the movie, and I'm like, Maybe they might show like a cameo, like you know, like a mid credit scene, like they knew do nowadays to like hint at probably a sequel if the movie does well and all well, that. They did. Do with they the, do something? They did. Like in the very beginning of the movie, it says original movie. <laughs> do not steal. No, I'm kidding. But they did have an original character. Oh, they do now. And they killed her. I'm like, oh, I'm I'm so I mean, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'll, it's believe, an, I'll, I'll believe. I'll believe that implied, when I see that. But implied, at the same time, but it's, it's they, probably not. No. But uh-huh. the thing is, like, it, it looks like it. But the thing is, the OC character, I was shocked because you know they're gonna put it was. A, it was. A, she was, like, a, she it was, was literally a giant, giant owl. Ideas. She was a giant owl. She's a giant owl. Yes. Aww. In this universe, Sonic is an orphan, like most other Sonic universes. I'm and the echidnas yeah. want him. Please, why oh, did so you the echidnas are in. Why did you spoil that? I wanted to mention Dude, that. Dude, I don't care. It's okay. <laughs> right, look. How do the echidnas look? Do they, they look they better than pretty. The, the, sp- the leaked picture that, that looks saw, blurry. Yeah. It, they look like shit. This one, they look better, but they they look brainless, tribal, like, I, we gotta get this guy. They were wearing masks. We wearing literally masks. couldn't see so their tri- face. So tribal. They were being very yes. tribal, which, then again, we don't know. There wasn't much show. They were teasing it, which obviously it's gonna be the second movie, which we're gonna second see. Movie like, with there's Suckles. a lot of sequel things. So I wonder, I wonder if they're gonna make Suckles like kind of like the half main villain. So they, they, I, I would like that. that Sonic basically, that's what they're doing. They're doing they Sonic could, the Hedgehog I mean, too. Look, if you look at the pattern, spoilers. End of the movie, Tails appears and he's uh, looking for Sonic. But think about the pattern. Sonic one, he doesn't know the spin dash. He's doing little and tell, spins. And tells, and tells look really, tells look really tells good. Tails looks really good. Tails is great. Tales came out probably the pat- better out of the ed- uh, Tales came out better than it But most else. likely, yeah. Knuckles will probably appear in the second movie as well, possibly as a villain, mm-hmm. and also probably a half villain. villain. A half villain. Half villain. Half That's villain. where you get that lock on technology. Okay. The point is, how do how do I say this? But I actually lost track for some. All right, back to Eggman real quick. Man is here. Yes. Oh. Yeah, but, yeah, no, yeah. But, but like I was saying, Natasha, like we, we the thing is before the movie we predicted how you know Jim Carrey could potentially be. Yeah. Like, for me, my biggest fear with Jim Carrey would be, most of the time, Jim Carrey. Which, granted, I love Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey. Right. But the thing is, I, I don't like that for Robotnik. Granted, okay, he's yeah. not Robotnik yet. Even though he is, you get what I'm saying. It's like a different take. The thing is, if they were trying to do a trailer where they're implying that he's going to become if slowly, I, had, if I, I had wish they did it if, better If I had to describe this Jim Carrey, I would say it's basically Cable Guy, but with a little bit more sane. But with I was more thinking, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's basically Cable smart. Guy with more sane. With AIs oh, okay. and everything in But that works, things. because robotic, okay. it, robotic is kind of... He can be a little crazy. Yeah. He's IQ 300 and insane. 
Okay. Right, and the thing is, like, you remember the first trailer where he was basically talking to the military guy? For a, like, for a moment, for a moment, I thought with that guy, like, because that guy, because that's an, that's an, also another favorite actor, Bellington, I literally mm-hmm. thought they were teasing G-U-N. I literally thought they were teasing yeah. G-U-N. I'm calling it I right thought now. The thing is, we don't that know. Gun still happen, but it's too early for guns. Right. But then again, they already put the kittens in here, so anything's plausible. Yeah, Which, actually, you know, the Ash Shadows. Like, like I was looking at one scene where he was talking to the third theater. Actually, Natasha, remember that scene where basically in the trailer you see him talk shit to the guard? Yes. Basically, oh. that that was not even one. That was legit just Jim Carrey, which not a bad thing. It right. was funny. Okay. But then you see moments where he's like, ah, 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 darn you. Like, yeah, there no, yeah. moments, like, like, they do feel no, yeah, really no, Jim, Car- Jim, Car- Jim Carrey did it. Like, like, you can't you see that's on Jim Carrey. Hard. That's the thing. I, like I said, I sound like a really big hater for most parts of Jim Carrey, but he did try the best he could do for most scenes. I, yeah. Jim Carrey did do some improvising for, for, for that. You can see the song. Do you feel that he's... How, what percentage do you say Jim Carrey and what percentage do you say... I would say 10. 10? Yeah. For me, it's more like a... This, actually, now that I think about it, 70-30. Okay. 70 Jim Carrey, 30% percent for Robotnik. Robotnik. That, that's just me. Chris, how, what did you feel percentages, Chris? Uh, I'd say it was 25% Jim Carrey. Okay. But like I said, he was, we all thought he would be like the, steal, you know, like the... He didn't steal it. He, yeah, that's the thing. We, the thing is, the guy fact, was... I would, in fact, I would say it was actually Sonic. Sonic I, Sonic did. Sonic really did. In his, his own movie, carried his own film. Because even like even like even the even the side characters were actually good too. Even the side main even the side human characters were actually fun. Yeah, they were great. Okay, but if I had to say one thing, I didn't like the sister. I didn't like the sister as much because like she was pointless. She literally she okay. She she literally hates Tom. So okay, yeah. So Tom the main character. So Tom the main character is married to this chick. She had a sister who basically the sister for no for no unexplained reason (laughs) just is like telling her divorce this guy. This guy is pointless. But uh, but like literally but like literally but yeah and uh, yeah but 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 uh, but there is no explanation towards it and it's uh, no no even for a comedy stance there's always something. Well there is some you have to remember But what every one of the town loves him. Because he's a sheriff, I think, right? What what was the name of his wife? I don't remember I don't remember remember the name of the wife? Uh, I just know her as Pretzel Lady. <laughs> but no, she's like a veterinarian. Oh, I already yeah, she's a veterinarian. So the thing is, she has a, like a career that's going somewhere. Yeah, so that's like, our sister sees it, but the thing is, with the main guy, mm-hmm. the town loves him, but he hasn't really done any really serving, protecting. He's just, he's just there. You know? No, no, but no, no, that, you know what that, that's what he feels about himself. That's right, what he feels about he himself. Ha- the sister doesn't care about that. Right, she just wants him to be like, way better. Oh, thank you. But that's a thing. But that's a thing, though. In in what in a moment though, when she was talking about her, about talking when she was talking about you know sacrificing, no, he she went to medical school. She went to medical school, and he literally got three jobs. He literally well, got three remember, jobs. She, she didn't know about that, and you gotta remember too. The whole movie, she was you know talking trash to him whenever she had the chance. Yeah. So like. But the thing is, and also, I, it got worse when he became a fugitive. It just, it just felt, it just yeah, felt yeah. almost weirdly, po- it just felt like, it just felt weirdly pointless just to have, like, just like some it's, it's random in-law an- angry Like I said, since the movie is written as it is, it's the generic in-law that hates you for no yeah. reason, aside from, you're no good for my, you know, <laughs> for rent, 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 But, rent, like, rent, but, rent, like, but, even, but even those kinds of jokes, there always is something. It, 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 in it, it, fam, it, it, in Family Guy, friggin', the, the, Mr. Carter hates Peter for, he hates Peter because he isn't rich. He's dumb too. He's yeah. dumb too. But pretty much, but the thing is, the main character, he's not really dumb. Like, literally, he doesn't see it. He has no confidence. He's Mr. Donut Man, mm. who literally talks to donuts. <laughs> and, like, he imagines himself doing better stuff. But the thing is, the whole story, like, the whole village. The whole town loves him. Loves him for his, like, he does and the fact that his, fam- his family named the Wachowskis have been living in that, so that town. So, essentially, this long. character is a well liked character. He just feels like town, he could do more. He feels like he could do There's more. Something and, that he knows, wasn't there and he knows. And he knows that everybody likes him. He knows that everybody, like, he knows that everybody he has, likes like, him. the Disney princess syndrome where, like, there's something more. You know, yeah, he basically <laughs> was. I want to go to San Francisco. <laughs> he basically was. He was basically a Disney princess, and then here comes Prince Charming coming into his life, I mean, dating everything. Like, I, mean, I, mean, I remember Prince Charming was like, meow. I mean, <laughs> he, he is Enchanted Prince from the Disney. Yeah, Disney Sonic so Enchanted so Prince. Right, so. Jeff, that's what it was. Tom, Tom was the princess, and Sonic was the prince. <laughs> Also, welcome to this right? episode. Tom wanted more in his life. Here like, comes Jeff, how would you, like, how would you rate Sonic, Tom, Adrian, and do you remember the name of uh, Tom's wife by chance? I don't know. 
<laughs> Damn. Men, uh, it, it, it just refer to her as the pretzel lady and donut this, lady. Yeah, the pretzel yeah, lady. Yeah, donut lord and pretzel lady are like so, the OTP okay. of this By song. the way, we're only defending a pretzel lady because of massage technique that yes. she just oh. did. Okay. <laughs> She's a professional, damn it. Okay, so the good thing about it so far, because... There's some I, I pros mean, and cons no, no, I know, like, signs, I mean, but, so more from what I'm hearing, because I do trust you guys with the opposing opinions, which is fine, that's how we are. The good thing so far, what I'm hearing about the human characters, because let's face it, a backtrack record of that would have, Yeah, the backtrack for a lot of those films are just bad human characters. Yeah, so, so like, here, like, there's very at least decent characters for humans. They were the military was they were basically they were just there they were just there they like, were not they had no but the main but no 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 th- 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 that's also the funny thing too the government like the head the head general government of the military are so are so chill <laughs> they're like so <laughs> chill it's like the power of the games that's true <laughs> they, they were like games. no no like they were like so chill by the end of the film they're like thank you for not saying anything about this here's, here's a dollars. here's a gift card to Olive Garden. <laughs> Also, don't ever mention Robotnik ever again. He does not exist. <laughs> and like, oh, okay. Hey, can we also like, you know, talk about your you talk, talk to your blue friends? Like, what blue friend? It's like closed door, like yeah, looking at so like. Much, yeah. I'm like, what is going? This that's it. This film's a cartoon now. This film's a cartoon. Yeah, no, there's a lot of cartoons. I think I, I think even they realize Which, I mean, they realize yeah, yeah, they realize it's on point. That's why I'm not so harsh. So I get yeah. harsh, yeah. harsh, no, I know. No, no. I get you with that. I, I, that does know, happen. And I think and I think it works because like it works both. It works both as a fan, a kid's film, and a cartoon. It basically was just a cartoon. Okay. Like, let me tell you about the MacGuffins real quick. Like one of the main MacGuffins in the plot was she saw the trailers of the Warframe. Yes. Basically, that's the story Sonic. Now see, fast. that's what I want to Real talk fast. about. Hold on, Jeff. Hold on. He's so fast that no one can see ever it. know that we don't ever underestimate his fastness ever again. The mm-hmm. point is, if he were to be found, he'd be chased and hunted, which basically his caretaker, his mother hen, basically gave him a bag of power rings, which, you know, for Sonic, rings mm-hmm. are his life. <laughs> but apparently, they don't really protect him too much mm-hmm. from what they're showing. They're kind of on and off where it can protect you. It cannot protect you. It's a teleporter. But it gives you power-ups. They never said about anything about protecting him. No, wait, that's like the They just said about him just warping. So it no, is... No, but whenever he got his power, so like, it is oh, like, that was because of the rings. So no, that, no, that so was because of his That was because of his emotions. So wait, is it kind of like how the... Well, that wasn't, that wasn't no, the ring. No, some of them, he had one ring at least on him, didn't he? No, he never, he never did. No, that he was the emotion. That was his emotions. <laughs> So wait, it, it, it's kind of, is it kind they of like the shown power the, ring They would have the shown comics? the ring, Frank. They would have been a shot no, of the ring. No, no. The thing is, there are some implications, but the thing is, we'd have to rewatch no, it again to get another No, no, no. No, for sure. The, the, the rings are mostly... They were just mo- the, the wings were only for warp. They were only just warp. Oh, so they are like the warp rings. That's mostly what they are. We don't know the full ramification of their power because the thing is, mind you, they're mainly used, as they say in the movie, universal planetary travel. That's, That's what they're mentioning. For advanced... <laughs> Okay. But, you know, but, they, I mean, the, 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 but no, no, there oh. was there was no of him ever using the ring to get his blue lightning. The blue lightning came from his emotion. No, that was basically it. was the, the the spin dash charge. That was the spin. That was the charge. Right, the just, a lot of times you saw him fall off the ring to obviously go. Bong! That was but, because he had the bag on him. All the times he fell like three times with those rings. Oh, that cute little bag that he's. But at the same time, he with. definitely like there are a lot of times where his rings are gone, and he definitely now, seems super. I will weak. have to say one thing I thought was a bit. A bit wait why? Okay, so in the final so in the final fight wait, wait, before we get to the fight, we gotta talk about the journey of their friendship. Literally It's like a buddy cop movie, isn't it? Like Sonic yes, he runs like it, I was mentioning it's earlier. The he, it's the buddy he, hot movie. <laughs> yes. So like I said, he runs away, lives there by himself for ten years because he's just a boy and you know So he's fifteen. He wasn't fast enough to jump back in his warp ring since yeah, his mom like, told him to get out of like, there. I like how the two main characters actually <laughs> Aww, okay. Which is nice. So he grew up ten years by himself, stalking the whole town of Green Hill, even though his world itself, he was mentioning, was looking like basically a Natasha. Imagine generations or four, like one of the newer Sonic Green Hill notes literally look like they're literally ripping off. Of, that was kind of cool and nostalgic, which obviously you know it's work. Really. Yeah. But it wasn't Green Hill, it was his home planet. Right? The story is in Green Hill. Oh no. Yeah, and it's like. Like I said, he was being hunted by the echidnas, which, like I said, I was mad. Like, the, yeah, moment, like the yeah. moment I by saw the, them, by I was happy that I was way, like, no. By the way, I, I kind of call Bull on, like, Green Hill, Montana, because that, that was way too green. That was, like, like oh. that was, like, way yeah. too green. Cramps. Oh, you're cramped. Stretch a little bit. 
helps. Yes, Wondercast. Always stretch and drink a lot of water and stay yes. hydrated. <laughs> if you ever receive a cramp, you cannot stand still. You must push on and walk. Okay. We're going to take a quick intermissional break. Oh, yeah, radiating listeners. It's me, Stephen E., host of the Wondercast. And me, Danny E., host of the Wondercast. <laughs> Co-host of the Wendcast. Oh yeah, well you know who else is here? Steven, host of Rebel Order Pod, is also here. And also me, host of Rebel Order Pod, and producer. Whoa, sorry Captain Danny, don't shoot me with that blaster. Pew pew. No, what the? Don't make me dodge all these blaster bolts. I can only dance so much, woman. Hannah, we dance all the time about Star Wars on our show, the Rebel Order Podcast. That's right. And on the Wendcast... We like to dance, i.e. talk about movies, if it's me and Danny, or bullshit, if it's me and Andres, or wrestling, if D-Rock's involved, or sometimes anything at all. Anything goes! And guess what? We also have a Rusty. Right, Rusty? Rusty, like, say it over here. Rusty! Fuck, he's too hot for TV. <laughs> Make sure to listen to us on Radiate.fm, where your ears will bleed the good way. Yay! And we are back. Yo. We just Yo. had some pepperonis pizzas Yo. to give us strength for some hedgehogs, which we should have had chili dogs. No. I, could but, make, I could honestly make you chili dogs. Yeah. So... You were mentioning also about the character interaction between Tom and Sonic, which that's like the main drive of the whole movie. It starts off basically... A basic set, a basic like, setup. I don't know you, I'm afraid of you, I'm going to shoot you. It basically caused the whole problem you're in for this entire movie. I don't want to help you, but I will help you because pressure. Because right. I need to save someone. That's what I want to <clears> do. Be, be an actual assertive cop. I was actually surprised that they were getting to like kind of like th- like their drama moment with like you know with Tom Lee with Tom leaving and Sonic like being unhappy about that. Yeah, like, I, like they literally like they went by that pretty fast. Yeah, they, no, they went thing they went through a lot of things fast. Like literally, their friendship was blossoming in the span of ten minutes. Gaze at its glory. Uh, like literally, I was Sasha, to play. like Sonic made like a little checklist. Oh wait. Oh, yeah. So like I say, Sonic made a checklist of things he wanted to do because literally, the most Sonic would do before running into Tom, he would literally stalk Tom for like ten years, like watching movies from behind, watching the city. Yeah, because like creepy, yeah, sp- like very yeah, because he saw him. Chris, as, he saw him as my throat's hero. dying. Explain, Chris. He basically so- Sonic's a stalker. <laughs> yes. so he saw. He saw. He saw. Sonic saw Tom as a hero because you know he wasn't just like nice to like people. He was also just not. He was also yeah, nice to animals. He was also nice to animals too. Which that's also a, that thing that drew him. Which one of the things I was kind of glad about. They at least had Sonic befriend a turtle. Yeah, like, he like, picks up a, a turtle. And gave him, he pick, Yeah, he picks up a turtle and just runs around and giving like the turtle the speed time of his it, life. He almost got hit by a car. So it was like, cute. Cool, I will save you. It was. Just, it was adorable. Like that was the most adorable moment I've seen. Well, yeah, yeah, that's how Sonic go. should be. One for the animals. The animals. Did he but try to take a nap at all in the movie? Yes. He knocked out. He knocked out He knocked out. Yeah, he knocked out. <laughs> but not just that, the Tom, he also befriended the animals. Like, he would literally talk to them and no one else because he was bored. Not like, not like that. It was just basically because, like, you know, his, his wife was a veterinarian. Uh, so, he had, yeah, like, nice. he had to get nice to animals. So, most of the movie, they're trying to become, like, Sonic's trying to definitely make him a friend, because that's his main bucket list of things. He doesn't even know what a bucket list means. He's like, I want a bucket list. Like, yeah, they kind of play that off a little bit weird. Sonic wants to die. Then at one point, like, Tom is like, oh, yeah, no, a bucket list, uh, yeah, no, it's like, when I die in a bucket list. I think, like, I'm like, what? Okay, so he said it. Why is Sonic not reacting to death? He doesn't know what death really, I mean, he should, but at the same time, he's been away from it for ten years. Like, he's had no social skills. He's he's from afar. he's essentially kind of like. No, oh, no, he had no one. He was literally—he's he no literally the boy who played with himself. Like, all the, the, time. like the reason why Robot, the, the reason like, why Robot came is this. just like he had like this emotional moment where like I'm alone, and then just like at a at, like a furious the fact that he's alone, he runs around the baseball field and causes a and causes a, an EMP right, explosion. But, but before that, he literally was playing every single position because he's so fast he could move. Yeah. Well, not. But move. that wasn't the cause of it. But no, but it's not just that. Prior to that, he was therapying himself, like yeah. literally. He was counseling himself. Like, he has no one because literally, 
his rule is that if someone sees him, he's gonna go to the next. He has to run right? away, and he the, has to run away to the only other safe place, which is Mushroom Planet. Mm. Mushroom Hill Zone Planet. But yeah, like literally, they kind of emphasis on it a lot, but the thing is, he has so many rings. Like literally, I, he I can feel, go anywhere I feel he like, wants. I feel like we're gonna see more of Mushroom Planet come back to have more secrets than we already thought it wasn't. There's like, there's no, there's no way like his adoptive mom owl. Was like literally gonna send him to a planet where basically there's just nothing there how for did, no reason. How did the owl look, by the way? Very epic and majestic. Very yes. majestic. So it's like a fantasy. Yeah, very fantasy like. And I love mermaids. She has like she has like this golden she had like this golden ch- like chest necklace on her. Aww. <laughs> right, right. Literally, my brother just texted me saying, "Doesn't have to tell us if you found it, you'll like it." <laughs> Whoa, spoilers! <laughs> and then, you know you get to see like baby Sonic. I saw that. I didn't see the whole thing with I didn't know about the mom thing, but I just knew about Kit Sonic. Oh, oh speaking about that, <laughs> Kit, the thing is Sonic in general, he's very I wouldn't say naive, but he's very innocent since he has no kid. he no but he's not a kid anymore. But the thing is he basically has no experience. So he's practically on a level with a kid that's close to a teenager. Yeah. But you, you get what I'm saying, right? right. That's his mentality. Like, there's a part in the movie where he's literally egging on Tom for trying to follow his dreams, but the thing is Sonic doesn't really, you know, Get he doesn't it. understand that yeah. yet, like, dreams and this and that, since he's always running. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, like, they kind of, they, like, yeah, they kind of... They hammered it so many times, which part of it was kind of obvious, it's, you know, kid movie type of mm-hmm. hammering, but at the same time, it's like, But you know Tom, what, I, I get what dreams. they were trying to say, because, like, because Tom wants to be, Tom wants to do real cop work stuff, like, right. actually, like, Instead do, of just doing a little tractor like, meter, being, helping like, up tra- the town Basically, like, 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 he was, Judy. like, literally, um, Tom was, like, like literally... Kind of. No, kind of. Because like Tom was, Tom was basically the ultimate sheriff of his own town. Because it's been generations of being sheriff. You could just put it right into it. Yeah, he like, was. Thank you. He's just he's, he's like his family has been like the watcher of Green Hill Mountain for 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 so long that he got like he's tired of it and he wants to There's you know something there that be was, like an you know, act. Be, how how be, you feeling, Natasha? I was adventuring the great yes, he wanted, white summer. He wanted to be. He wanted to be a street cop. He wanted to be. He wanted to be a street cop. And Sonic was, was like, "Why would you leave like the literally yes. safest yes. place in the world?" And I get it because Sonic lives. In, Sonic does live, live in a life of like you know in a dangerous yeah. situation. Yeah. If he, he has to run, his emotions are his most dangerous. It's literally by, ba- by basically by basically saying like Tom is like running away from like the only safe place that you call us home. Who else wants a chair? I'm good. I'm good. Sonic also doesn't have much control of his abilities. Like, he doesn't do the jumping, the spin dash. It happens by accident for a lot of time. Mm-hmm. But it shows that he hasn't yeah. had time yeah, to hold his Yeah, I saw that in the trailer when it he hit the car. Yeah. And he's like, I have no idea. Wait, no, Jeff. You're recording. It's okay. We're almost done. Don't worry. So, aside from well, that... If I had to say one thing I, I still hold, I still kind of hold, it's just that, like, when it came to the final fight and where, mm-hmm. uh, the, where, so, where Sonic is above, where Sonic is beating Eggman... Where Tom was able to use the, I had no problem with Tom using the warp ring. It's just the fact that it's he threw the warp ring and somehow knew the location of like he's like thought about like the mushroom planet. Like, no, no, Sonic mentioned it like four times. Of course, he's like, you know what? Go to the mushroom planet. Because remember, it's supposed to go where you desire to go. Yeah, Literally, <laughs> the song, the, that's one of the problems I had. Sonic kept saying, "I have to go to the mushroom." Oh, because there's so many other places to go. But it must have been but dangerous. Then again, he doesn't remember, remember, the map, remember the map. The map. Remember the map. Basically, he told him the only safe haven left for him was mushroom, little mushroom area. Right, so probably that's how her way of finding him. If she can't find him in this world, that world, <laughs> she can find she can find him in mushroom because like it's literally the place he it's literally the place he hates. Mm-hmm. Exactly, he doesn't like mushroom hill zone. <laughs> but aside from that, by the end of the movie, Sonic gets his rings back. He goes fast. He starts doing a lot of doing stuff. Basi- he has basically he a, fam- he has a family. Mm-hmm. Well, he gained a family. Like, Chris, explain how he slowed down time and literally. He that's just three ran. Three seconds. It, it did so much it, shit. It, it, yeah, I, I think more so it was just a point of view of perception for him. Yes, it is a perception. Well, it was, that. Once Eggman used also the hair, he too gained the ability to stop time. And you, go mean so just, fast. You, you mean just going fast? It, Very it, fast. It's just like that Powerpuff Girl episode where they went to like that other dimension because they were going so fast that time stood still. Exactly. When you go <clears> fast... You underestimate it was your the, all. It was, essentially, it was essentially like they used the Quicksilver moment from fir- from X Men First Class and just said like, "Oh, that's really cool. Let's use that." <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then finally, like, let's mention our favorites, our worst, and also our feeling about the ending and the music. I wouldn't say it wasn't the worst. I wouldn't say I didn't have any worst parts, but I will say the one part I really didn't favor was the sister. <laughs> yeah. For me, I was I, like, the thing is, 
I kind of hate these pigeons, but not because of that. I mean, it's like it's. Daniel, I love their daughter. Her daughter was adorable. Her daughter was adorable. Oh, I saw that scene. I think she's the one that gave him the shoes. Yes. yes. That, that was that so was cute. I hated that scene. What? Why? I loved it. That scene was great. Was, I thought it was adorable. We, got, we saw a nasty, disgusting, <laughs> dirty yes, ass. Yes, again, yes. Oh, my God. Fur finish. Seriously. <laughs> Hold shush, 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 no, no, no. Shush. I, no, no. You pause no, 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 for a no, moment. No, no. He was wearing those shoes for 10 years, same pair of socks. You know what this reminds me of? An old Newgrounds video from the <laughs> early 2000s. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Natasha? Are you talking about Nazo Unleashed? No, no, where Sonic takes off his shoes to give it Amy and she smells his disgusting, dirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like my, why did they even bring it up in the first place? That's my made, question. No, they made it big emphasis on his dirty ass feet. They showed him, like, Look, everything. Okay, that we did not so, egg, so, egg, so Eggman was able to find a, so Eggman was able to find a way to track to track to, to track Sonic to, because they he really because they thought the they thought a foot they thought a foot yeah, print, that was and they x and they x rayed to see his feet. Mm-hmm. That was it. And the only ever time you see his feet was when was when was was when at the sister's house. That was it. <laughs> Shut up. No, nah, no, that was too much detail that I did not want to. <laughs> see. You have a foot fetish. I do not have a foot to fetish. Be fair. Then why did Natasha, you bring it up? Because <laughs> they did it. To be fair. Like, they Natasha, have, you know what I'm saying? You've I know, seen the crazy shit of the fandom. Yeah, that, to be fair, because it's kind of like how they do the Starbucks thing. Like, you know how his legs, they always made it seem like it was mechanic? They made such a big deal about what the Sonic feet look like. That's always been a big deal. That's always been the big deal. But then whenever people draw but the like, comics they, have, But the comics have shown his feet. Actually, yeah, no. But it's they not. have and they haven't. Because they've shown him without his shoes. He always wears his socks. They don't show the bottom of his feet. They show him having blue feet, There was only one. The there was like literally only one Wait, time. Oh, he's sleeping on his comics. racing car. Bed, and someone surprises him, and he got so freaked Saturday. out that he got he jumped out of his bed. You just see socks, but you see his shoes on the floor, and that's it. <laughs> like I said, I like it. I there's a lot of things in this movie that are very questionable. Like, that the fandom, why? you know how so- yes, but that can be said about anything. That, that can be the, said about anything. Stop. Why are you acting? This is not a normal thing. Unfortunately, with Sonic fans, all right, it's, I know it's not a normal thing. We can just drop it from there. But, but like, but the fact that you're emphasizing it, saying like that is like the most critical thing when you talk about. They have showed Sonic's feet, dear God. Why did they do no, that? They, Don't they know these people? Like, really, you no, freaking? You're making a bigger deal of it. You're freaking out. But because you're freaking out about it. All right. Not Chris. So you well, two get you two. Both of you two understand. He just doesn't. Okay. There's a lot of weird shit with the fandom, but I'm not saying the fandom. You know what? It's just okay. This is not safe for work moment, I swear to God. <laughs> that was not safe for work <laughs> No, 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 no. I swear to God, Frank. I can't talk to you because we can't talk about safe for work stuff because right. I swear to God. What, would you, what was your favorite part and your worst part? Well, we know your worst part. What's like, your favorite I, part? I didn't get a chance to go on about the, not, not the feet, though. The yes. echidnas, mm-hmm. which... I was mad that they wasted them, but at the same time, I see why they did it. Literally, they're gonna be a sequel. They're gonna be a sequel. The sequel, yeah. But possibly for more than just one movie. There's a chance that there's Knuckles' clan. There could be another clan. Mm-hmm. And literally, the way how the end of the movie implied with Tails looking for Sonic, it's probably implied that you know the mother owl found Tails because you know Tails is also an orphan, mm-hmm. abandoned by his family, and basically he looks like he was looking for Sonic. That's like the main gist of the ending. Plus, you know what I mean. So mm-hmm. odds are. They escaped, she found Tails, ten years later she tells a lot about Sonic, that's how he knows about Sonic, which was kind of weird, but it, like, like I said, everything kind of, like a lot of things from this movie was very predictable, which is not a bad thing, but mm-hmm. do you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. The best thing though, oh man, hmm, let me see, <laughs> what was the best thing from the movie? I'll let you go first. I, actually, I just had a realization. What? What if they take some of the plot from Sonic Underground? It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> give him, give him a brother and a sister. Yeah. Oh, a bunch of the same character. <laughs> oh. And then let's see here. What was my favorite moment? I know which which one was mine. <laughs> what was your favorite? Mm-hmm. Eggman looking at the camera. I'll be back. My favorite part <laughs> was it was the time between the dancing scene with Eggman. Like he literally got high off of Sonic's quill because apparently you come in contact with the quill. Like he bit it. No, I don't. I don't think it was him going up high. I think that no, was no. It was. It was the surge of energy. Like literally. Yeah. Got, yeah. Because he was studying. He was studying it. That's literally right. his thing. He was a scientist. He but, literally just saw that and was like, "This is like the greatest thing in the world." Like literally, he's busting so much moves and music's blasting like crazy. He doesn't notice anything. He's so caught up in the moment. That that's one of my favorite moments. The second moment when when Tails came. I was worried Tails would look like shit. <laughs> there was a there was an epic. Leaked photo that was basically not really a leaked photo, but it was a meme. 
That's why you never trust leaks. Well, no, it was, it was, it was, it was obviously a fake. Literally, they got like this random cracky looking box. <laughs> that no, like no. It, it was the, the Tells doll. Oh, God. From the, the Tells doll. Oh. But what movie was it from? Like, it was ripping from another movie. I forgot what it was, but it looked really bad, but that's what made it so good. Because <laughs> remember, we didn't know how Tails would look since Sonic looked like bad at first, and yet we didn't know how bad Tails would look. But, yeah, like, I, I, that was my other favorite moment. <laughs> Jeff, did you have any favorite or least favorite moments? <laughs> I'm just back to the simple. Well, so I hate the movie. I hate it so much. <laughs> But I loved a lot of the movies too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got you like you and you you and Jeff like got so like so like cringy about what Sonic what Sonic is flossing. Flossing? Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, that's he right. flossed. Bro, yeah, he flossed guys dancing. hard, bro. He did the flo- he did the floss dance. Yes, he really, did flossing. Really, what I disliked the most, and <laughs> it wasn't granted, bad. it's necessary for that movie, was just all the the sympathetic moments. It was just like all the really heavy sad moments were just like. That they made it too sad for its own good. No, it, it was just lame. Oh. <laughs> I just thought it was lame. <laughs> <Just> wow. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the it's gran- okay. The granted, like seventy percent of the movie is lame, <laughs> in my opinion. But it's still fun. That's the thing. We're not hating it forever, but we will say I did hate the ending song. Damn but I did sad. love the animation they used for it. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it's like there are some times where they have really fitting songs, and sometimes they have just really yeah. unfitting moments. But if you watch this movie, like, if you know a lot about Sonic, there's a lot of shit you will pick up on, especially with mm-hmm. dank memes and cringy shit, and also just jokes in general. Like, Chris, remember all the jokes I kept telling you throughout the movie? Yeah. Yeah, like, literally, it's it's not hard. If you're going to go in that mentality that you know it's going to be bad, but also going to be good for shits and giggles, it's definitely worth the watch. I wonder if thought the movie was going to be bad, and I actually liked it. Well, yeah, that's the feel of the trailer. Yeah, like, tra- the, tra- the trailers really do matter a lot. They can give you a whole mm-hmm. perspective if the movie's good or if it's bad. I, I, I thought it was going to be a shit show, but yeah. prove me wrong. Exactly. I heard, I've been hearing that a lot. Like, they say, again, obviously, it's not as good as Detective Pikachu, but it's at least a lot better than what they made it out to be that make it seem like it's going to be bad. Like, granted, they could see why some people might see it as a bad movie, but it's not terrible. You know what I mean? But let's also focus on the main thing that matters <clears throat> most. Mario Sonic. Okay, we're gonna cut this episode now, guys. We're gonna uh, play yeah. this game. Yeah, let's cut that. Sonic right, had the better live I, action movie. Because I came to that. Sonic I, won. I came, no, they're mad because I, no, they're mad because I came walking into the theater. Oh, that's right. He betrayed shit. us. He came in there with the Mushroom Kingdom <laughs> fucking Mario one cover. I was displeased. I'm wearing blue. Jeff's wearing blue. I'm wearing, Chris is wearing blue. I'm wearing blue. I don't care. But I'm the one who bad wore the Mario. What? I'm the one who Mario wore the was character better. that ruled. Dang. What? <laughs> Go take your Mario and Mario's and get out of here. <laughs> but like I said, dude, any last thing you want to say? The part thing, how many Disney characters they talked about in that entire film. They oh, yeah. talked about a lot of dumb Disney characters. I'm like, boy, man, Paramount, Disney gonna pick up that phone and like, what you doing, huh? <laughs> With so, those names. <laughs> exactly. So, basically... We all kind of see like the sequel possible baiting between <coughs> Tails and Duckles. Lock on technology could be a thing again. Mm-hmm. But also the scariest thing is how they will treat the game based on this movie since it's it's getting up there in the box office a little bit. Mm-hmm. Free but, roaming. <laughs> dude, free roaming in the Sonic game would actually be really. I don't think they're gonna just lock. I think oh. they're, they're gonna try to make a way to make it seem like it's a lock on, but it's not gonna look like the actual lock on. Oh, by the way, actually, one thing they also did in the beginning of the movie, they literally showed so many Sega titles, which was like, beautiful. <laughs> so, I am Frank the Blockbuster guy. Thank you for joining us. Any last words? Anyone else to say real quick? Sponsor me, Disney. No. I'll be back in December. <laughs> <laughs> the best, one of the best slides in the whole fucking movie. Like I said, ending from Jared was best from Jared. Fairly well, everyone. Hey, I'm Linda. Hey, I'm Linda. Wundercast? Give yeah. it up for Wundercast, man. What an adorable name. You're listening to the Wundercast. What's up, everybody? This is Jason David Frank, Green Ranger. You're listening to Wundercast. We got it.
subscribe to the Vondacast.